Rottweiler vs. Siberian Husky, Breeds Comparison Trying to decide between the Rottweiler and the Siberian Husky? Both of these dogs can be similar in some ways but are quite different in many others. Watch on and find out which of these popular breeds is the perfect pup for your lifestyle. Before getting a puppy, you should be sure that the breed you're doing to buy or rescuing is a good fit for your lifestyle and home. Let's get busy. Both Rottweiler and Siberian Husky are members of the working group. Although these breeds are members of the same breed group, they have some differences and not only similarities so keep watching to learn more. Rottweilers are larger, with a typical height of 22 to 27 inches and weight of 85 to 130 pounds, while the typical height of Siberian Husky is 20 to 23 inches and they usually weigh 35 to 60 pounds. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. Rottweiler vs. Siberian Husky Lifespan No doubt, the quality of care provided to the dog is one of the main factors when it comes to canine's life longevity, however, there are also other factors, especially the dog's breed. With a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years, Siberian Huskies usually live longer than Rottweilers. Rottweiler's lifespan is 8 to 11 years. Rottweiler vs. Siberian Husky Adaptability When we say dog adaptability, most people think about apartment living adaptability, so let's start with that. All dogs are great but not all dogs are great for or geared toward apartment living. A dog may be considered the worst dog breed for apartments for a few reasons including size, energy level, noise, smell, shedding. Unfortunately, Rottweilers and Siberian Huskies don't have a good reputation as good apartment living dogs. While most dogs can be left home alone for 6 to 8 hours, some will do better. Hot Weather Tolerance Depending on where you live, you should choose a dog that tolerates hot or cold weather well. Speaking of Rottweiler and Siberian Husky, these breeds tolerate hot weather well, but you still need to be cautious when it's hot. During warm weather, be sure to provide shade and water and head out in the morning or late evening when it's cooler. Also, avoid pavements. If the ground is too hot to touch for your hand for a few seconds, it's too hot for paws. What about cold weather? Cold temperatures are not a problem for most dogs until they fall below 45 degrees Fahrenheit, at which point some cold-averse dogs might begin to feel uncomfortable. When temperatures fall below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, owners of small breed dogs, dogs with thin coats, and or very young, old, or sick dogs should pay close attention to their pet's well-being. Once temperatures drop under 20 degrees Fahrenheit, all owners need to be aware that their dogs could potentially develop cold-associated health problems like hypothermia and frostbite. Siberian Husky tolerates cold weather better than Rottweiler. Rottweiler's fur is simply not designed for low temperatures, so you might consider getting them some kind of dog wear coat. The best way to monitor dogs when it's cold is to keep a close eye on their behavior. If you notice your dog shivering, acting anxious, whining, slowing down, searching out warm locations, or holding up one or more paws, it's time to head inside. Rottweiler vs. Siberian Husky Temperament It's always hard to make a general statement about the whole breed's temperament. Each dog has a different temperament, and there are a lot of factors that affect its behavior. Looking for a perfect family dog? If you're looking for a companion dog, you won't go wrong with Rottweiler and Siberian Husky. Their outgoing and friendly personality makes them a great choice for families. Both are highly affectionate with family, they will immediately become a family member. When it comes to behavior around children, Siberian Husky simply tends to do better. Both Rottweiler and Siberian Husky love children, they are usually gentle and patient with kids, but as we mentioned, temperaments can vary based on the individual dog. Guarding behavior. Dog guarding behavior is welcome for some owners, while others prefer a dog that's friendly towards strangers. Rottweilers and Siberian Huskies are super friendly towards strangers, so don't expect them to be too protective unless they are properly trained. Health and grooming needs. The best way to optimize your pup's health is to research reputable breeders, and then when you meet them ask to see the parents and their health certificates as described above and to see the conditions in which all the dogs are living. Also, some breeds are prone to obesity, which could cause other health conditions. Be sure to check that information as well, if the breed is prone to obesity, keep a close eye on labels and feed your dog according to the food labels. For example, 
Hip dysplasia is hereditary and is especially common in larger dogs. Factors such as excessive growth rate, types of exercise, and improper weight and nutrition can magnify this genetic predisposition. What about shedding? One of the bad parts of having a dog is definitely shedding. So be sure to take this into your consideration when choosing the right breed for you. Okay, let's make this clear, Rottweiler and Siberian Husky are heavy shedders. Preventing shedding is impossible, but regular brushing is necessary. These breeds are almost always on the list of dogs that shed the worst. Drooling potential? Hate drooling? Well, then you should probably skip Rottweiler and choose Siberian Husky instead. Rottweiler vs. Siberian Husky Trainability Each dog needs some kind of obedience training, but some of them are easier to train, while others are more stubborn. Novice owners should probably choose Rottweiler over Siberian Husky as they are easier to train and aren't very stubborn. Still, you should be patient, and forget, persistence, and consistency are key in successfully training your dog. This doesn't mean Siberian Huskies are untrainable, but you might also consider getting professional help. Do Rottweiler and Siberian Husky need a lot of physical activity? To keep your dog healthy, calm, and happy, you have to provide it with enough physical activities. Not only your dog will be healthier and happier when it's active, but you'll also reduce or completely eliminate destructive behavior. Some people don't think about this when selecting a breed, so we have dedicated a whole chapter to physical needs. Both Rottweiler and Siberian Husky have a high exercise needs. It means they will need at least 30 to 60 minutes of hard aerobic exercise most days of the week, preferably daily. And no, a leashed walk isn't a hard aerobic exercise, think of aerobic exercise as anything that makes your dog pant. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.